Good morning, everybody. It's Pastor David. It is Sunday, February 21st, and it is a privilege to be able to do daily devotions with you. Um, what I want to encourage you is have whatever beverage uh, you typically enjoy uh, while doing your devotions, and we'll be going through our uh, Lenten devotion book, and um, if you don't have your Bible with you, I encourage you to get get one. Uh, either grab your phone or that and come back. I'm gonna go a little slow right now. Uh, and one of the things that I also wanna encourage you to have is um, something to highlight your Bible with. Um, because in a moment I'm going to read the passage from Mark and uh, uh, I'm gonna read it slowly and it can be very helpful to, you know, when you're reading it in that moment to highlight uh, what jumps out at you. Because what I've learned uh, is that uh, every time I read scripture, I see it in a whole new way. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, our text is from Mark. Uh, chapter 1 verses 21 through 34 and again I'm going to read this um, relatively slowly and I'm reading out of the uh, New Living Translation or what's called the NLT. Jesus and his companions went to the town of Capernaum. When the Sabbath day came he went into the synagogue and began to teach. The people were amazed at his teaching, for he taught with real authority, quite unlike the teachers of religious law. Suddenly, a man in the synagogue who was possessed by an evil spirit cried out, Why are you interfering with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. But Jesus reprimanded him. Be quiet. Come out of the man, he ordered. At that, the evil spirit screamed, threw the man into a convulsion, and then came out of him. Amazement gripped the audience, and they began to discuss what had happened. What sort of new teaching is this? They asked excitedly. It has such authority. Even evil spirits obey his orders. The news about Jesus spread quickly through the entire region of Galilee. After Jesus left the synagogue with James and John, they went to Simon and Andrew's home. Now Simon's mother-in-law was sick in bed with a high fever. They told Jesus about her right away. So he went to her bedside, took her by the hand, and helped her sit up. Then the fever left her, and she prepared a meal for them. That evening after sunset, many sick and demon-possessed people were brought to Jesus. The whole town gathered at the door to watch. So Jesus healed many people who were sick with various diseases, and he cast out many demons. But because the demons knew who he was, he did not allow them to speak. This is the word of the Lord. Our devotion for today was written by Trinity Lutheran Church member Karen Leesman. On a trip to the Holy Land, standing in the Capernaum synagogue from today's text, I was blessed to feel God's presence and peace some 2,000 years since Jesus taught and healed there. As he taught that Sabbath, Jesus had everyone's attention, even the evil spirits possessing one of the congregants. They, too, knew the Holy One of God and cried out with questions for Jesus. Why are you interfering with us? Have you come to destroy us? The NIV translation is, what do you want with us? 
we too often have unhealthy voices and burdens buried deep inside us connected to grief, guilt, loneliness, pride, broken dreams, addiction, abuse, etc. Have you ever cried out in desperation, Lord Jesus, what do you want with me? And then you hear his answer. I want all of you. Your pain, your broken spirit, and all your anxiety. I have given everything for you, even my life, that you may be free from the sin of this world. Draw near to me, and I will heal you and restore a right spirit within you. Our reflection questions for the day. The first one. What have you been holding back from the Holy One of God, pretending that everything is fine? And number two. When will you share those concerns with your Savior Jesus as you seek his healing? Please join me in prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for sending your Son to heal us from our sinful thoughts and actions. Help us to listen to his teaching and share our burdens with him. In the name of Jesus, amen. God's richest blessings upon your day. Uh, we hope you join us today at Trinity for worship. Um, we have some have already signed up for worship uh, for our 8 and 10 services, and they will both be live streamed um, through our YouTube channel. Just search for Trinity Lutheran Church Bloomington. Uh, and we look forward to worshiping with you today. God's richest blessings to you. Bye.